Welcome to creating an export from ITS Dispatch to your QuickBooks. First, before we begin, a quick reminder. We will go into Accounting, Accounting Manager. Loads that are delivered and completed will not, repeat, will not be exported. Only loads in the invoice status will be exported. You will be able to tell which loads have been exported by the light green background the ones in the clear background have not been exported from ITS Dispatch. So that's what will be exported. Only this one load, 70770, customer bell will be exported. To actually create the export, you will go to Accounting, Accounting Export. If this is your first export, you will need to go into Settings and do your setup. The first box at the very top here for account will be the account that we need the information to be sent to. This will, in all cases, be your account's receivable account. The second line represents an account's receivable account if and only if you are doing multiple currencies within ITS Dispatch. If you are doing multiple currencies, then you will put in this box accounts receivable then the currency abbreviation directly below, or pardon me, directly behind it, the exact same way as you have it set up in your QuickBooks. The next is your date format. This is your date format for QuickBooks, not ITS Dispatch, not your computer. QuickBooks has two date formats. They have month, day, year, and day, month, year. Please make sure that ITS Dispatch is set up exactly the same as your QuickBooks. And below that, you will have your line item. This is a brief description of what you want to call the transactions once they leave ITS Dispatch. Only a summary of the invoice will be created within QuickBooks. The detailed information will not be transferred. That will still be available for you at all times within ITS Dispatch. And the last option at the very bottom is basic advances. Basic advances if you put a check mark in this box, will show up in your QuickBooks as only the remaining dollar values of the invoice. So meaning, if you build your customer $1,000 and he gave you $500 up front, only the outstanding balance will be transferred from ITS Dispatch to your QuickBooks. This will throw off your year-end report on revenue. What we do suggest is leave this unchecked then it will be transferred from ITS Dispatch to your QuickBooks in two separate transactions, one for the invoice and one as a credit for the amount that you've already received. Once you've finished your settings, go to the Export tab at the top, then select Export. At this point, it will give you a notification to always do a backup of your QuickBooks before doing any importing. You can say OK. A summary of what we are exporting will come up on your screen, which is your accounting export report. You'll see the one load, which will have your invoice number, invoice date, customer, and amount. I do suggest that you print yourself a hard copy of this information so that you'll always have it available for you. You'll also notice at the bottom of your screen, do you want to open or save this export file? We do not need to open this file, but we do need to make sure we save this file and we save it to a location that you'll be easily able to find in a few moments. So what I do is suggest that you click on the arrow, do save as, and you'll be able to choose where you want to save this to. In my case, it is going to my desktop. Once saved, then close, and now you're finished with ITS Dispatch. The next step is to go over to your QuickBooks, You'll need to make sure that you are set up as an administrator. If so, then you'll go to the top, go to File, go to Utilities, go to Imports, and go to IIF Files. Once you click on IIF Files, find the file that you just saved to your desktop, double click on it, and if everything is set up correctly, the next thing that you will see is your data has been imported. If there is any problems, please give our office a call and somebody will be happy to help you. Okay, once that is done, then close 
the screen. If you still do errors with the uh, QuickBooks, give our office a call and somebody will help you set up your QuickBooks. Also on how to set up your QuickBooks is available under the Help Quick Start Guide Section 6. Thank you.